A funnel chart can be a great way to help you display data in progressively decreasing proportions, such as when you might need to prepare a chart that displays a sales pipeline or order fulfillment cycles. Prior to Excel 2016, creating a funnel chart involved many workaround techniques because this chart type was not native to Excel. The good news is that's not the case anymore, as Excel 2016 now includes native funnel charts, and in this short video, you will learn how to create them. As is often the case, the first step in building a funnel chart is to prepare your data appropriately. As we're looking at the data on the screen, our first step will be to sort the data based on the values in column C. Now to do that, I'll just simply click anywhere in that data range, and then from the Home tab of the ribbon, of course choose Excel Sorting and Filtering options, and I'll choose to sort this data in descending order from largest to smallest. Understand that this is a critical step to ensure that your funnel chart ends up looking like its namesake, that is, a funnel. With the data properly arranged and sorted, to create the funnel chart, let's just simply select the range of data, in this example, B3 through C9, and having selected the range of data, from the Insert tab of the ribbon, let's go to Recommended Charts, and we see that a funnel chart is actually the fourth item listed in the Recommended Charts. Now, if you're not comfortable using the Recommended Chart feature, of course, you can click on All Charts, and once we click on All Charts, we see that Funnel Chart is the second from last item in the list. Click OK to create the basic funnel chart that you currently see on the screen. Notice that in this example, again, because we had sorted the data in descending order, our chart resembles a funnel. Now at this point, the last step, of course, is just to apply a little bit of formatting to dress the chart up, make it look how you want the particular chart to look. And our chart is now complete. Now that funnel charts have been added to the chart library in Excel 2016, you no longer must engage in workaround techniques to build this very useful chart. Remember though, the key to successfully creating a funnel chart is to sort the data for the chart in descending order based on the values you desire to plot in the chart. On behalf of everyone at K2 Enterprises, thank you for watching this short video. We certainly hope that you have found it to be useful and that we can serve you soon in one of our training programs. For more information on the training options we offer, please visit our website at www.k2e.com.